Okay, we've talked about the materials that we need to start drawing. Let's just uh, take a look at some of the, the drawing techniques that we have. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take a look at some basic line quality. So when I'm sketching, I'm going to draw a line on here for you, and we're going to make that nice and dark, and you can see that. We have a nice dark line. Now I'm getting good consistency in my lines in the sketching by keeping my pencil as perpendicular to the paper as possible. And what that does is allows the lead width, which in this case is 0.9, to transfer completely. And if we can zoom in, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit on a line, you're going to see that we have good line quality. See that? And we'll do another one right here. So we have nice thick lines. Now an old technique in drafting that we don't typically apply in sketching because sketching is supposed to be a, a quick tool, but what we used to do is take that pencil and as we ran across we would spin it. So let me zoom back out so that you can see that. And watch my pencil as I move it. So I take it and I spin it. Now typically what we would do is we would do that with a ruler. So we would take that and we put that on the ruler, get that ruler on there, and then we take that and then as we're putting the line down we're spinning it so that we get a good transference of the lead and we get a nice dark line. You can see how much darker this line is from just a regular sketch line. Now again that's more for drafting so we probably won't spend any time talking about that but just so you can see the differences. So in sketching it's just simply doing lines and you can see I've got a lot of basic straight lines here. Uh, no big deal there. And now that's with an HB.9. Now let me show you what happens when you break out the old construction grain. And the construction weight again is uh, 2H to 7H or 6H and we do a line. And you can see that that line, now this is a 2H, I wanted it to be a little bit darker for this demonstration. The 2H is a little bit thinner, we usually try and keep this point sharpened right here. And then we can use that to do some basic construction. Now if I'm doing it correctly I can do a very light line with a very light touch and you see that those are very difficult to see. So that's the basics of line quality. So use your construction to map out your drawing to do some construction just like we've talked about doing some construction with and we'll do a little bit more construction techniques. We'll use some more construction techniques I should say when we start doing circles and some other things. Then when you're ready to lay lead the paper and really put your drawing down on paper then you want to back take this pencil and then go back over your construction lines to give you nice dark drawing so that people can see it. So those are the basics of line quality and uh, hopefully that will help you to see the difference between a construction and actual object lines.